Information is kind of like the Demogorgon from Stranger Things. It grows and changes over time, and each stage of growth is marked by an increase in size, complexity, and to a degree, reliability. We call this phenomenon the information cycle, and it starts with an event, like the release of a popular television show. Social media is the first stage of the information cycle because that's where people first start producing information about an event as they react to it in the minutes and hours after the event occurs. The information produced isn't what anyone would consider reliable, but it does provide a real-time picture of public interest and opinion. News is the second stage, and that includes print, online, and broadcast. News is produced within 24 hours of an event, and stories are brief, rarely more than a few hundred words. News organizations are generally held accountable for the accuracy of their reports, so they check their facts. As a result, it takes the news an hour or more to catch up after something gets big on social media. News isn't produced as ridiculously fast as social media, but it's still fast and way more reliable. Magazines, and increasingly blogs, are the third stage. These can be print or online and show up in the days and weeks following an event. Magazines use all that time to take the facts from the news and interpret them, often in a thousand words or more. Why does the event matter? How should we react? That kind of interpretation is one of the main advantages of magazines, but it's also a drawback. Interpretations can be thoughtful and compelling, but they can also be politically biased or just plain wrong. The fourth stage is journal articles, which apply academic rigor to the topics they analyze and are considered the gold standard of reliable information. They have to pass peer review, in which experts pick the article apart and demand revisions until they're satisfied. Planning a study, collecting and analyzing data, and surviving peer review takes a lot of time, which is why journal articles start to appear a year or so after an event. They're worth the wait, but because of that academic rigor, journal articles can be difficult for non-experts to figure out. They also tend to examine very narrow aspects of an event, like this, and they're fairly long, usually 10 or more pages. Books come fifth in the cycle, and out of all the stages, they generally take the longest to produce. Books, spoiler alert, are hundreds of pages long, so they're able to make big, overarching arguments that draw from all the stages of the information cycle. They do for the entire cycle what magazines do for the news, but way more thoroughly. They interpret the event and say something thoughtful about it as a whole. So that's the information cycle. If you know where in the cycle a piece of information comes from, you'll be better equipped to understand its relative strengths and weaknesses. But wait, when it comes to determining reliability, every piece of information has to be evaluated individually, and a librarian can help you with that.